Well, this looks like it might be our last Washington uh, tour trip because we're running out of time. We need to go home pretty soon. Uh, we're going to go up to the Space Needle. And uh, someone also mentioned the Chihuly Gardens. I, pro I might have said that wrong. Um, but we're going to wait until the next time we come because we want to do the day and the night when we go there and we're running out of time. So come on our adventure. There she is. I don't think I've ever been up in the Space Needle. Joe has. But I don't think I have. Okay, there's the Space Needle over there. Judy wants to go up there and walk around. Looks like a great big dinner plate. What do you think? First thing we gotta do is figure out how to pay for parking. Okay, so, how long we're gonna be up there? Well, that's a good question. We think. Well, it's zero to two hours. I would think two hours would be enough. Okay. Don't you? What do you think? Well, let me take a look. This is a family quarrel. <laughs> Major decision we gotta make. Okay, we got the parking figured out. That only took a little, few minutes and deciding if, how many hours we wanted. So we're gonna start here, get in that door, go inside, and then we're gonna go up, 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 up. There. See ya. Well, that's to prove we can get on this elevator. Judy, did you know we're seniors? Yeah, and it serves us well too. Saved us. Have a lot you of been up the Space Needle yet? Judy hasn't been up there. I went up there quite a few years ago. I think we were up there at night too. We'll see what it looks like today. <laughs> Nervous, Judy? No. Going up into the space. they build it. And the elevator's around the corner. We just have to wait here in line. You guys are looking out west here towards Puget Sound. Connects to Seattle via Elliott Bay right in front of us here. And it goes all the way out to the Pacific Ocean, about 140 miles west of here. The White Arch is right below us. That's the Pacific Science Center. Originally that was a science and technology pavilion at the World's Fair. It's now an interactive science museum. It's where they premiered the microwave oven and touch tone telephone back in 1962. Mm -hmm. And if you guys look over there to the south, beyond downtown Seattle, you do be able, you will be able to see Mount Rainier through the haze right now. So we have about 60 days out of the year, so the mountain's got to play. It is a lucky day. And here we are at the observation deck. You guys have a great time. Well, we just got to the top. It's interesting because this is where you get on. And no one seems to be getting on to go down. Huh. So everybody keeps coming up and no one's going down. Hope we can have a lot of weight up here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's Mount Rainier out there right in the middle of the picture. A little bit of clouds, but then on down to downtown Seattle in the harbor. Kind of a bird's eye view. The Olympic Mountains across Puget Sound. Someday I'm going to get over there to the Olympic Mountains and do a lot of sightseeing over there. That and the San Juan Islands should go well watching them. Next trip. That'll be the next trip. Seattle has added a Ferris wheel since our last visit. We might wait till the weather's just a little bit warmer for us to get on there. You can see the two stadiums over there, the football stadium and the baseball stadium. And looks like a little ferry or a tour boat coming in. Probably more a tour boat because it's kind of small. There comes a ferry.
and in the middle of the pitcher. In. And there's some of the piers heading on down. And if you look close, real, real close, the logger fair is going to be over there somewhere beyond the stadiums. Okay, we'll do a little bit of a walk around here and you'll see some of the view. There's a marina. Mountains in the background. I'm not sure what those are. Do you, June? I don't know if that big one back there is Mount Baker. I mean, if you can see Mount Rainier, then I wonder if you can see Mount Rainier. It's interesting looking at buildings from above. It looks like two V's facing each other. Kind of neat. And we have more arena. A couple of them and a couple of smaller boats. The two smaller boats are fishing boats, and the other two are ferries. Were you able to move that around? Yeah, this one, this one is. Um, you can move. You know, further in and out, I think. And there's those towers of Baker. See, I think that's Mount Baker back in there. I think, but I don't know. And they, this is uh, like from a live camera on top with a space needle, and you're able to control up and yeah. down oh, and uh, left to right. So I think it's like that peak, but I'm not sure. That is Mount Baker. Mount Baker's to the north. Uh, the uh, Cascade Range is to the east, the uh, Olympic Mountain Range is to the west, and then behind us is uh, Mount Rainier. Uh, we've got a good bird's eye view of uh, Seattle on the top of the Space Needle. We've been out on the deck so we can see things without interference of glass. Um, well, except with the, the short glass that's out there. Um, it uh, certainly is a at least do it once in your lifetime type opportunity.